just a look at the sunset tonight. We're doing a short video clip on repair of our 2012 IC school bus seats. Having a problem with the backs coming loose. The sheet metal is actually coming or breaking off of the frame. Inside the bus here, we're going to take a look at what a seat should sound like. We're just doing a quick hitting it with our hand. The ones that are broke, you can actually hear the metal rattle. All we do is take, bang it. You can actually hear that one kind of rattle. It's a little bit loose. Uh, ones like this, you can actually hear the metal rattle. And what that is a result of, we have a seat here that's completely took apart already. All they did was they took and welded around this frame. There's no support on the bottom other than the welds, which I don't know if you can see it or not, but they are already broken. As the students sat on the seat, the ones behind put their knees on it, pushed forward, and then the ones that actually sit in the seat they actually push back so you end up with a push and pull on these the sheet metal here and you can see how it's actually it's actually bent so what we will do tomorrow when the guys get in they will take and this seat right here they'll do it in place so actually take and install two drill screws every little section to there to there to there they'll get it straight first and they'll, they'll screw it both sides so it takes 12 screws and then we'll actually remove this seat back which on these ICs there's actually two bolts one is a clamp bolt you can see that one just clamps you, all you do is loosen that one the bottom bolt you actually have to take out and that is on both sides you can see same thing on the outside of the seat one is a clamp the other one bolts through the seat frame and actually holds the seat frame on so tomorrow we will take that out also you can see here how the sheet metal is bent this one really rattles so when you hit it it really rattled bad it's one of the worst ones we've had and then what we'll do, we've also been putting a piece of one by one steel angle, welding it onto them. But that is what our IC bus seats look like. And now we'll go take a look. We've bought some new style. We will see what they look like. They're built a little bit differently. This is one of the new style seat backs we ordered. We actually ordered three. So we could be doing switches. We'll bring a bus in, actually do tear three seats apart, put three backs in, put it back together and run it back out the door so cut our downtime repairing these seats. As you can see they built these a little bit different. They actually put a little reinforcement bar in there. They're not welded straight but we will see whenever this one gets about four or five years on it that the other ones have. Keep in mind this is out of a 2012 that we're working on. We'll check this in a couple years and see how well these pieces of sheet metal are holding up. But all they have done is basically put a little bit of reinforcement bar on there to help hold where they're welded together. This is one of the seat panels or seat backs that the screws have been put in. What we're having to do is use a 9, I believe it's 932nd or 964th bit drill pilot hole and then use self tapping screws to reattach the steel to the back. And then we've been doing that actually right in the bus. And then next we put it in the vise and we are welding a piece of angle iron across the lower back attaching it to 
both of the uprights on the seat back. Just welding it top and bottom. So that's what we come up with for our fix for the 2012 buses.